And that's where this device comes in. Exactly. Historically, we haven't had much to offer people who are in that situation, but this device gives us a really great way to address that. It is like a pacemaker for the brain. Uh, most people are familiar with how a cardiac pacemaker works. It listens to a heart rhythm. The heart goes into a funny rhythm. It delivers some electrical pulses to reset that to a healthy rhythm. And that's what this does, except in the brain. Uh, so this is an implanted device uh, that sits in the skull. It's connected to two lead wires that have four electrode contacts at the end of them, so a total of eight electrodes. And those are placed surgically inside the brain at the site or sites where seizures come from. And those electrodes serve a couple of functions. They continuously listen to brain waves. And what they're looking for is the first sign of a seizure developing. If that's detected by the device, it automatically responds by delivering small pulses of electricity that are aimed to stop the seizure in its tracks. And all of that happens sort of unbeknownst to the patient. So this is a kind of self-contained, fully functional device that the patient doesn't have to do anything for. And you don't even know what's happening. You don't feel anything. I don't. Can you just kind of demonstrate a little bit how this works? Um, absolutely. So clinicians have a tablet programmer here, and it's connected to a wand that maybe I'll hand this to you, Kimberly. And patients can hold the wand and hover it over the device where it's implanted in the brain. And with the click of a button, the clinician can actually see what we're looking at is real-time wireless streaming brain activity. Um, there has never been a way that doctors are able to really look at brain waves like this in real time in somebody who's not in a hospital, who's not hooked up to a million wires. Um, and what you can take my word for it, these brainwaves look perfectly normal because she feels normal now. But if uh, she were having a seizure, what we would see is sort of some sparks appearing on these recordings. And those sparks would coalesce and organize and evolve into what we would call a, a, an actual seizure. Real-time brainwaves here in a studio, that's pretty remarkable. Yeah. That, crazy. I mean, it, what an emerging, emerging area in, in neurology and neurosurgery where you, you can now start to control these, these neural issues with stimulators. It's, it's really, I think, the tip of the iceberg in epilepsy. I mean, I, I think maybe one day we'll look back and think of some of our current treatments as being really primitive. I mean, it's the best that we have now, but devices like this are really, I think, the future. Is this covered by insurance? Um, that's a great question. It is absolutely covered by insurance. So this has been FDA approved for Everybody six years. Everybody decided that it's covered <laughs> yeah. by insurance. Decided. Right. If I could give one take home message from all of this, I would say that um, if you're in a situation where you feel like you've run out of options and you're, you know, the control that you have is as good as it gets, it probably is not. And I would encourage people to talk to their local doctors to get referrals to what we call level four comprehensive epilepsy centers like the University of California, San Francisco, and many other centers around the country where we can offer the most advanced treatments for epilepsy um, like this device. And I think, Kimberly, I'm just so happy that you're doing better and that this has given you some control over your seizures. Best of luck with all of your future endeavors thank and you sharing so this with us. Dr. Rao, thank you for all the great work you and your team are doing. We'll have more information about this on our website.